Okay, my friends, this week for social studies, I wanna talk about our country. The name of our country is the United States of America. And I'm sure we've all heard this before because we've all said the Pledge of Allegiance before. And so we live in the country, United States of America, in the state of California. And overall, our country is a really big place. We have a lot of people living here. And even though there are so many of us, we may all look different, have different cultures, eat different food, listen to different music, wear different clothing. Even though we may do all of those things differently, we are still connected. We're still a part of the same community. And ultimately, we all hope for the same things in life. We all want freedom and happiness and success. So that's important to remember as we study our country and the people that make it up. If you could live anywhere, where would you want to live? Why would you want to live there? People move to different places for many reasons. Our country is made up of different kinds of communities. States also have different communities. A community is when people work together and live in the same place. So what kind of community do you think Lucerne Valley would be. We have suburban. That's when we have lots of houses right next to each other. We've got rural, where there's lots of more open land. And urban, where it's like a big city and all the buildings are huge and super close together. Let's read on a little to find out. There are three types of communities. Urban areas, have a lot of people living close together. Big cities are urban areas. A suburban area is usually on the edge of an urban area. Suburban areas are close to urban areas, but they are less crowded. A rural area is outside of towns and cities. Many rural areas have farms and forests. What type of community do you live in? So I have definitely seen some parts of Lucerne Valley that are more rural, that have more land and space in between our houses and buildings. And I've also seen some suburban areas, right? Where some people do live right next to their neighbor. So a little bit of a mix of both suburban and rural, I would say. Why would someone live in an urban area? Urban areas have lots of activities. Homes are close to many different types of stores, restaurants, and parks. You can learn a lot of interesting things about different cultures. Why would someone live in a suburban area? In suburban areas, people have more room. Homes have bigger yards. There is less noise so people can relax more. Why would someone live in a rural area? It's very quiet. Nature is all around. Children have more room to play outside. Wherever you live, there are lots of activities that you can do. So now we're going to read a story called How to Bake an American Pie. And this is a fiction story. And we're imagining our country, the United States of America, as if it were a pie. And we're giving a recipe on how to make this pie or make something like America. It talks a little bit about the land itself that makes up America and also the cultures and the ideas of the people that live here in America. So watch that next video to hear the story, How to Bake an American Pie by Karma Wilson.